paranormal experts say a house in Vicksburg could be haunted. Yeah, 60 WAPT's Hadass Brown reports that house was a hospital for soldiers during the Civil War, and now people think they're seeing ghosts. Strange things happen at one mansion in Vicksburg. I've had doors slam in front of me. Uh, I've had you know, glasses in the middle of the table, you know, just shatter for no reason. The best word for it, unexplained. An untouched chair shaking. An untouched ball spontaneously rolling down the steps. Thomas Tarver takes care of the mansion. Uh, and they, they hit this house about seven, eight times. According to Tarver, a man named Duff Green lived in the house with his wife and daughter during the Civil War. Tarver says Green used the house as a hospital for soldiers to keep Union soldiers from bombing it. I've had about 67 encounters um, with a, sold, a Confederate soldier holding a severed leg. Tarver used to run it as a bed and breakfast, but his guests kept having mysterious complaints. And I've dealt with a lot of people even in the middle of the night um, that claim to have seen things. We decided to take some experts to take a look inside. We actually have had spirits light up flashlights for us. Brian Riley and Josh Alberts work with the Mississippi Paranormal Society. Riley says they've encountered quite a few spirits at the mansion. I was sitting in a chair and we were just talking amongst ourselves and all of a sudden I heard a little girl whisper in my ear. Me and Sally saw a figure right there. Sally saw the orb, I saw the figure, and he was standing right there and going back and forth. Riley and Alberts put their equipment to the test for us with a special investigation. We investigated one room. Go ahead and turn it on. Then another. It now went up to 0 0.2. Then we checked out Duff Green's office, and what we saw left us spooked. An ordinary flashlight sitting on the counter, untouched, flickering on and off without anyone touching it. You are back to mom. The spiritual researchers say it could have been Duff Green's five-year-old daughter, Annie, who died from yellow fever. She's probably looking for her parents, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Green. Um, no telling what she's really looking for. Um, we've never gotten any direct answers from her. What do you have to say to people who are just total non-believers when it comes to this kind of thing? Basically, I just say keep an open mind. Anything is possible. I mean, we don't know what's really out there, and I don't know. I've, I've always just had an open mind to it, and I've had experiences that I can't explain. House caretaker Thomas Tarver says he'd be happier without all these mansion mysteries. When something bad, you know, weird starts happening or my dog starts acting skittish, then I just walk the opposite way. Um, I live here, so I really don't want to see it. In Vicksburg, Hadass Brown, 16 WAPT News. Well, usually I'm a skeptic, but there is definitely some mystery in that Vicksburg mansion. Well, apparently Hadass says she saw some things in there that she still cannot explain tonight. You can watch that story again on our website. It's WAPT.com.